Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you all the camera gear that I use to film all my YouTube videos with. Stay tuned and I hope you enjoy this video. The camera that I'm using mainly is the Canon G7X Mark II with the flip up screen. A bit old now. Uh, Mark III is out but it is not as good as this one here I say it does have a uh, mic input for the G7X Mark III this one doesn't my best camera I've ever had it films really well it shoots good footage and it's just a really really nice camera it's small compact you can um, put it somewhere in your pocket and it's just an instant camera that's set up for vlogging Getting quite cheap now, LG7X, but I uh, highly recommend this camera. It is a really awesome camera, man. It's it's uh, filmed many many of my videos, and it's been in the wet, been around water. <laughs> it's a little trooper. This camera. Right, so here we have my uh, GoPro cameras. <clears throat> Got the old GoPro three which I still use for audio get some audio out of here without having to have to use the dongle the footage in these aren't that good anymore compared to the new GoPros but it's the old GoPro 3 next I have here is the GoPro 5 black I bought this camera here together with an SD card and it turned out that the SD card was faulty, it was playing up and I thought it was the camera and I spent ages and ages on forums online trying to find out the cause of why I was getting glitches in my footage on the GoPro 5 uh, I really need another camera for filming so I went out and I bought the GoPro 7 because I had to um, the GoPro 7 was out at the time my GoPro 5 was playing up and uh, so I bought the GoPro 7 and found out later on that the problem was with the SD card on the GoPro 5 so I bought a new SD card and now I am stuck with uh, two GoPros the 5 and the 7 which is pretty handy because they both take the same battery and they both fit the same uh, SD card micro SD card which is great I prefer the footage out of the GoPro 5 uh, the GoPro 7 footage I find is a bit washed out or it's got a bit of a neutral look to it and you can always tell by other YouTubers videos what camera they're using or the GoPro if they're using the GoPro 7 because they all it has a similar look so I prefer the GoPro 5 footage the GoPro 7 has got really good uh, stabilization so when you're walking around it's awesome nice and uh, it's like having a gimbal in GoPro 7 so it's also really handy to have two cameras you can set up two different GoPro cameras in the same shot uh, which is great give you another camera angle to shoot with uh, as well as with here with the Canon G7X so you've got three different cameras you can shoot different angles at the same time so one good thing about buying the other GoPro 7 was now I've got two GoPros I mean, I'm not thinking about buying the 8 or the 9 I'm happy with these two now fine my two GoPros or my three GoPros Hero 3 Black where is it so here we have the hideous GoPro adapter now this fits into the uh, side of the GoPro and you can fit a little microphone in here which I have here which is the uh, Roadlink lav mic it fits into the dongle here like that this bit fits into the camera like that so the problem we have here with this microphone here look at that it's a hideous dongle that sits out just so you can get audio but there's this huge dongle thing hanging off the old cameras, the GoPro 4 and GoPro 3 you just be able to fit it straight into here, the microphone straight out of here and the footage is actually better from the GoPro 4 than the GoPro 7 so what I had to do then, I had to buy this Ulanzi kit here 
which you can fit this hideous dongle in through here. It's been a while since I've used it, but that's the way it goes, or this way? That's the way it goes, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's the way it goes. It goes into there like that. The hideous dongle. And you can put your mic on top here if you want to, and it can go straight into the uh, side get into here but you would, of course you would see the uh, dead cat in the way so normally you got to walk around with this off so you have a nice little microphone like that see get your audio and your camera fits in here but what I have also with this GoPro adapter here all bought of course from AliExpress is a little light box and this is great this is a great thing to have a little light box here different settings on here for your different light and this is awesome piece of kit to have when you're filming yourself at night or in low light like it is now and uh, what you can do then is you can put the microphone on top of this now it has a little uh, shoe up here I'll turn it off so you guys can see it has a little hot shoe mount on top of your light so you can fit your microphone on top there so you can just talk like that and get uh, decent audio out of your mic the the uh, dead cat on there and this just stops the wind wind noise see and there we have it perfect little setup well big actually big setup my microphone there you can also put the lav mic in here if you want to set it up plug this into your camera over here and then you have a little lav mic which you can just wear and uh, get really good audio as well from that. So that is my GoPros. Here we have it. This is the $4 microphone from AliExpress. Lav mic. So this is why you would have a lav mic on your GoPro so you can pick up some good audio with it. Well, hopefully good audio. This is the lav mic, hope you can hear it okay, you can just have it on here, you can also put it under your shirt, discreet about it, you can just have it under your shirt here like that, and uh, people don't see your microphone, and you've got good audio, so that comes out of the GoPro with the dongle, and if I take this uh, lav mic off here, and now the sound is coming straight out of the GoPro audio you'll hear now. So they've got the GoPro audio, yeah, it's okay. Pretty, pretty handy, but if you want to carry around a lead like this, or if you want to put on a microphone on top of here, and uh, back in, and there we are back onto the lav mic on the uh, GoPro. Lav mic versus onboard mic. What do you guys think about that? Next I have here is my main camera. It is the... Uh, EOS M50 mirrorless camera. It's a mirrorless. Uh, not a bad little camera. Uh, you can fit your your mic up here. A bit of audio like that. It's an okay camera. I don't use it that often, mainly for at home. The thing that I find with these cameras here is you need to get uh, ND filters. Uh, which is a pain in the butt sometimes, you've got to set them up when you're doing things, set it up, put that on there, your ND filter on, then you've got to adjust it all in your settings, and it's just not a, a point and shoot camera like my Canon G7X, which one I'm using here. This Canon here has built in ND filters. Now we don't need this filter on here now, but what I use here, I'll just use this camera here, we'll record some footage there, is this ND, oops, I'm gonna change this look. Bloody hell. It's way too good. Oh, it's so too high. So you've got to change it all. It's a pain in the butt. ISO 1600 will do. Okay, I'll just press record here. I'm not going to shoot something really quickly. I'd rather shoot it with this Canon G7X Mark II than shoot with this M50. It's just a 
It's a good camera though, it shoots really well. I have here a uh, 50mm Nifty 50 1.8 lens and this is the uh, Canon kit lens 15 to 45. So you need a few lenses to film your, uh, your vlogs. This is okay, this is okay. M50, Nifty 50 they call it, F1.8 uh, prime lens that one. Awesome little uh, lens to get some uh, background defocus on that. Okay, the polarizer, the polarizer filter, the ND2. See, also have the variable ND filter for the camera. Goes from ND2 to ND400 neutral density. You just adjust it, but I prefer to use this G7X. I don't have to use any of these things here. So my next part of my kit, I have here Roadlink Filmmaker Kit Transmitter and Receiver. I bought this one here a few years ago. The Roadlink Filmmaker Kit. And it came with a lav mic with the uh, little, little wee dead cat on it. But I'm having problems with this connector, it's playing up. So I don't use this lav mic anymore. It's a bit unreliable. But anyway, there is our Roadlink Filmmaker kit. Put your receiver into your hot shoe mount. Tighten it up. And then just plug this here into the side. The input here. So here's your transmitter. You have this hooked up in here, like so. And then you just have your lav mic on you and your transmitter in your pocket or the back of your pants in your shirt. And that one there is there, and that's your a bit more discreet than having a having a microphone on top, but that is quite a big box you have here. But it's another option of having a wireless lav mic. You have it here on the Roadlink Filmmaker Kit. It's still quite a handy thing to have. I use this now and again if I'm filming at home or filming somewhere where I need good audio myself. I'll just hook this up and it, it works pretty good. And this runs on AA batteries. You look in the back here. So make sure you have a few spare batteries. Pretty handy, pretty handy audio system for your camera and for your videos. This is the Rode Video Micro. It's one of the cheapest Rode microphones out there, and a lot of YouTubers use use this one. It doesn't need batteries; it just plugs straight into your camera, which is great. You don't get flat batteries and also comes with this dead cat which helps to block out a lot of the wind. Not all of it, but it will block out a lot of it. This is my light kit. This is a Yolanzi light. This is a great light for getting those shots at night time or in low light. You just turn her on and there is some beautiful light coming out of there. Great for fishing at night time with it. You can adjust the brightness by up here or bring it down depending on how much light you need. But that is a great little light, the Alanzi light again bought off AliExpress. So that can just fit on top of your camera like that. Plug it in, you tighten it up, and um, here we are, ready for doing some pretty serious night vlogging or low light stuff. Filming with the G7X Mark II, and I've got the light here on the Canon M50, as you can see there, with the microphone. 
nice bit of light on here so we can also adjust it to go up whoa it was really bright like that or, or we can bring it down not so bright and off so different options there and this battery lasts a very long time in this on this light here awesome awesome light system for your cameras shooting at night in low light we have a little selfie light there we go it's a little selfie light there that just goes on top of the camera like that and you have a little selfie light also to film at night this is a great little piece of kit to have when you are fishing at night time or doing anything at night I prefer to use this Ulanzi one this is much better light on that but now you've got two sources of light to use and it is actually quite good and it's a little bit of a thing on there see it's also good to go on to the little, little smartphones as well those are my two pieces of light kit right next I have here I said I've got a lot of batteries I've got batteries for I've got uh, three for this camera here and I've got two for the M50 as well next we have here is a little GoPro accessory a little clamp so you can sit your camera on here and use it as a selfie stick like that clip onto things like a, maybe um, your car or window clip onto a fence onto a tree and you can adjust this little thing here and it's a great little great little camera accessory to have for the GoPro you can film like this with it so you can film like this pretty handy little apparatus to have and flexi as well which is great okay that's my little GoPro accessory Joby tripod you can bend it and do that sort of stuff too you know and uh, it's also another good little selfie selfie uh, thing to have put your camera on here if I don't use my big tripod I will take this one here with me and you can do a lot of things with this tripod here pretty handy so it goes on like that make sure you tighten it on now this is a good uh, tripod to have especially with this lens here as is the 15 to 45 and using this lens here you can get some real distance between the camera and yourself so I've got the M50 on the old Joby as you can see we can just sit like that and talk with the camera held out microphone on top of the Canon M50 pretty handy you can wrap this uh, tripod here around like branches and uh, uh, fence posts things like that you can do it up on a high branch or a low branch and you get some really awesome little shots you, know, you can do some really good low shots with it as well low shots you just got to adjust your your level on here and your shots like that and then we can film some really awesome low low shots with this uh, Joby tripod stand Pretty handy to have, use this all the time. Here is we got have is my slick tripod. Now this is a great little tripod for these two cameras here, nice and light. It has a quite a good little ball head on there. It's quite smooth, quite a smooth little panning ball head on here, which is great. Had this one here for a few years. Uh, it's a good little tripod. Nice and light, and very, very handy to have. Handy piece of kit. That's it one out of the way. My next little piece of kit here I have is my, which I use quite a bit, is my GoPro harness. That's pretty handy. All my fishing shots, I use the GoPro. Pretty handy, put the camera on here. You can wear this under a jacket and then just also have the camera just sticking out so it's quite discreet and you can film some awesome shots with this point of view rather than the head mount i prefer using this chest mount it's pretty handy handy camera uh, accessory to have for your gopros 
You can buy all these off AliExpress. You don't have to buy the, uh, the GoPro brand. You can buy as cheap as AliExpress. And that is my gear to film with. And my next little thing I have here is my hard drives, okay? You can never have enough external hard drive. I have got two, I have this one here. This is a uh, two terabyte one. And then I also have a three terabyte hard drive. Now this is my backup for my video clips and everything, my, all my videos are on here. And then also back up all my videos from here onto this main one here. This one fails, I have this one, still goes. This one fails, I have this one here. Now all my videos are on here, and all my family videos, all my videos of my daughter growing up, it's from my baby onwards, are all in here. It's very, uh, I don't wanna lose these, and I don't want these to be broken because uh, it's got a lot of memories in here. So I always have two external uh, hard drives. One to back up my camera cards, other one to back up this hard drive here. Very important because losing footage and stuff is heartbreaking. So always, one rule if you guys wanna do uh, YouTube videos is get yourself a couple of hard drives, okay? Very, very important. Also, I have about four SD cards. You never have enough SD cards. You make sure you get uh, decent ones. If you want good cards, go for some decent cards. That it has good speed on them. You gotta have a card with good speed. I have here on my um, M50, I have a extreme 150 megabytes per second. Here we have it. Extreme sand disk. 64 gig. You can never have enough SD cards. And I always take out spare batteries and a spare SD card. Uh, especially if you're filming cooking food. Then how many times I've been filming, battery goes flat, SD card falls up. It's just a quick matter of taking the card out or the battery out, put a new one in and you are good to go to carry on filming. But, emphasize that you need a couple of batteries, SD cards. You guys out there shooting YouTube videos, a couple of SD cards, spare, and batteries. You've got to have spare batteries. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. That is uh, a bit of a rundown on the gear that I use to film YouTube videos. You'll take it easy out there, and we will catch you later. Bye.